hi it's Megan I am a big fan of the lipstick queen brand of lipsticks and some of them a lot of them have this semi sheer formula which is super super pigmented and I like the semi sheer formulas I don't know if it's because in Los Angeles where I am the the winter was so hot this year it was like 70s 80s and now we've had 90 degree weather a lot of the time so I kind of didn't embrace the winter collections but I did embrace kind of the semi sheer lighter looks that spring and summer sometimes bring, especially summer because it felt like summer. So I had one of the Endless Summer Lipstick Queen lipsticks and had been kind of eyeing these for a long time just because I'm a California girl native by, by birth so I haven't always lived here. Um, but I grew up here for the most part and according to Lipstick Queen this particular collection, they say iconic 60s surfer movie, The Endless Summer, follows two surfers who travel the world following the summer season around the globe and thus creating an endless summer. I love the spirit of this and the idea that we can each find our own endless summer, that thing inside our hearts that can make us happy. This is from Poppy King, the founder of Lipstick Queen. So for this particular collection, she did moisturizing, because her formulas are usually very moisturizing, and I'll get to that in a minute, and sun protecting lipsticks in what she calls fun, pop, surf-inspired shades. They're bursting with happy brightness, but they contain, she says, a soft, nourishing, and ultra-glossy formulation, contains UVA and UVB filters to protect the lips, which I love, like every lipstick should have that. And then enriched with natural oils, candela lila wax, and vitamin E to care for lips. I can't pronounce that. Candelila wax. Uh, they say smooth, non-sticky texture that glides onto lips with enough opacity for color to truly pop. These are $22, and they are 0 0.12 ounces. And you can get them on Lipstick Queen site, Ulta, I think... Nordstrom carries the brand. I'm not sure if they carry these. Beauty.com. I saw a whole bunch of other sites recently that had them. These are all over. Um, Space NK. So they come in these amazing orange metallic. They're metal, but then they're like this softened metal kind of thing. It's really cool texture. And the writing is in this pretty pink. You open them up. This is the first one. This is Hang 10, which is a warm, sheer nude. And this I have on my lips. And I'm going to change these on camera so you can see I have fairly pigmented lips, so I get more color from sheer and semi-sheer formulas. This one I was really worried about because I read some reviews online that said that there's no color, and I don't agree with that. I think that, you can see there's color, um, it does provide a really nice look on my lips. And if I really want to play up my eyes, I actually love this color because it's not as draining and um, what the zombie lip look that you sometimes get with nudes. It is super glossy, like a lot of her formulas, it does have that super glossy look to it. Um, but her shears on me last a good two, oftentimes three hours. The other two colors in this collection last about three hours on me. This one's a little over two, only because it's so much lighter than my natural lips. I start feeling the fade a little faster, and I've learned I'm particularly tough when evaluating how long a lipstick lasts last um, if I can see color that to me isn't lasting if I feel I need to reapply to me that's when it's not lasting anymore so this I can go two two and a half hours depending on my day the others I can go three three and a half which for a semi sheer formula on me is like amazing so that's one of the things I like about the lipstick queen lipsticks I also like the texture it does feel more like a bomb on it's a lighter texture I just love this actually it lipsticks has a similar it Cosmetics, their lip, sheer lip machine has a similar kind of texture, which is just this, um, it's almost like a, a balm, but much softer and finer than a balm. So um, there's a product that I'm, I'm going to analogize it to. It's like uh, a high, really high quality oil that's been kind of condensed or solidified. And so it's smoother than a lot of bombs, which can be a little bit kind of chunky and heavy on the lips. These are like a finer oil that just really, I love the way it feels on the lips. And I really, I like the way it looks. So this is the first one. This is Hang 10, which a warm sheared nude. And the warmth means that I don't look like a zombie. So let's take this one off and do... I get no staining or bleeding 
with that color. Not surprised there's no staining, right? The next one is this one. This one is the one I had before. This is Stoked, and it's a sheer bright coral. This is my least favorite. It's funny, this is the one that I bought ahead of the others, and uh, it's a really pretty color. I just don't like it on me as much as I like the other two, but it is definitely a beautiful color, and with all of these, if I'm careful, I don't lose my top lip, or lip line. Sometimes with a sheer formula, I just lose that, and um, these give me good enough color, opaque enough semi-sheer color, that I don't lose my top lip line. So this is what it looks like. It's a very pretty color. A lot of people will love it, but it's just not my favorite of the three on me. No complaints, just not my favorite. Um, the third is Perfect Wave. And I think these last two, I think QVC has them together in a set where you can get them discounted together. The last one right here is a bright, sheer, punchy pink, and it's Perfect Wave, I said. And this is like a cool toned kind of carnation pink, but since it's a semi-sheer, it works with your own lip color. And I'm going to do a swatch of the other one as well. It works with your own color. So I love these. And the last two, I get just a tiny bit of, of um, staining, but I don't get any bleed, no matter how hot. And isn't that cool that it has SPF in it? So that's the perfect, uh, the stoked. So that's it. Um, I would love comments, thoughts, suggestions. If you have other lipstick cream lipsticks that I don't have, I would love to hear because I just really like the brand. And I think these three are some of my favorites in the whole lipstick queen collection because they're things that I will actually really wear. Um, I really like the imagery, obviously, too. I think it's really fun, especially since I live in Southern California. But the practical reality is, first of all, I love the idea that they have the SPF. All lipsticks should have that. Next of all, I think the colors are really wearable, natural looking, flattering, and they're a lot more longer wearing. Not only than a lot of sheer lipsticks, but than a lot of lipsticks that aren't sheer. That's it. Please subscribe on YouTube, and I have a novel on YouTube called Masks, which I'm putting on chapter by chapter, which is about makeup and the masks we wear, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Thank you very much. <laughs>